Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Total Telecom TV. Now, I'm pleased to be joined by Ronald of Leosat. Ronald, thank you for joining us today. Now, we're at a mainstream telecommunications show and we have Leosat here. Explain why. Thanks, Richard. Well, that's a great question and I think we're the only satellite company here, so that uh, justifies some, some answers. So what we're doing is launching MPLS routers in space. So that's basically, you know, a large part of the answer already. So rather than taking geostationary satellites, as we know so well in this industry, and bringing them closer to Earth, what we're doing is we're taking terrestrial MPLS routers, bolting them on board of a spacecraft, and then shoot them in space. And now we're connecting them with lasers rather than, you know, your typical fiber that you would do. And now you've created an MPLS backbone in space. And in doing so, we're combining the advantages of fiber, you know, which is fast, which has low latency, which has an enormous amount of capacity, and we're combining that with the advantages of satellite, which gets you in far more places, is able to be set up you know, very quickly, and because you're going outside of anything terrestrial with all your data, you now are also a lot more secure. So that's the reason that we're here, because we have a compelling offer for people that tradi buy traditional terrestrial infrastructure. Now, there are a number of people talking about LEO constellations. What makes LEO set so special? Yes, uh, another great question because indeed there's a lot going on in certainly low Earth orbit and there's also a lot to choose from. So where we are special is in part it's answered because we're taking this very terrestrial approach of bringing MPLS routers in space. In space. But what it, translates, what it translates to relative to the other uh, constellations is that by interconnecting our satellites we have a different value proposition because now you can go really the distance as opposed to um, satellites that are not interconnected which take more of a regional focus and have um, a, a gateway dependency which is perfect for certain types of applications but for us that is not so much the case because we're looking at that long distance, at that high security, at that low latency that gets us in front of many enterprises that are looking to you know, solve some of the problems that they have today which they cannot solve with terrestrial infrastructure. Now you mentioned about the security. Obviously that means key sectors would be the financial institutions. How's that going to be work? work? Were well, you going to get the speeds that they need? Well, security definitely is an issue in, in finance but you'd be surprised how how, how big of a topic it is in enterprise across the board. And you know, let's not forget government when it's about embassy networks. So what we're trying to do is develop an infrastructure that allows corporates, not so much en uh, finance alone, but really you know, enterprise, to assign a certain portion of their data and put it on a network that has certain capabilities like ours, which has enhanced security, lower latency, and make sure that that type of traffic goes onto that infrastructure as opposed to you know, some of the other infrastructures they might be using, which could be as simple as sheer internet access, which is great for you know, Facebook uploads or video downloads from YouTube. That doesn't necessarily have to go over a super secure network. Now, with the advantages of SD-WAN, which allows you to use multiple networks at the back of that you know, interface if you want, um, that comes with great opportunities for Leosat to position this service as a more secure service which then can be used for your more secure data. Now I've heard some of the uh, presentations today and it's all about the networks of the future. Sure. Speed, what it can offer to the customer, a new customer experience. Mm -hmm. Can Leosat deliver that? A new customer experience? Well, I think in, in offering what we just discussed, low latency alone, that is already a new customer experience. For instance, again, you know, you mentioned finance, there is a whole industry out there that is extremely dependent on the lowest possible latency link that they can get in order for them to be successful in their business. So that's certainly something we're going to be able to deliver on as one example. Um, and again, what I mentioned before, um, when it is about taking the traffic completely outside of anything terrestrial, um, that comes with a great, you know, new set of applications right there. So, new network and then new capabilities and being able to deliver on that, oh yes, absolutely, that's definitely one of our key value propositions. Now, in terms of the, the constellation and coming online, you're aiming 2022, are we still on target for that? 
We are still on target for that. Um, we have uh, been very successful in, in raising some money in the, uh, in, in, the, in the satellite world. So we got two strategic um, investors on board now, both JSAT from Japan and Hispasat from, uh, from J Spain that came on board uh, last summer. And in doing so, we are still well on track to, to meet those deadlines. So challenges going forward, what's the next challenge that you've got to get round? As a, as a startup, the challenges are always in relation to, to money and time. So we have a you know, further series to do of, of fundraising, both equity and debt. And at the same time, we got a, a very, let's say, strict schedule when it comes to launch, uh, so build and launch. And so that needs to come together all very, very nicely. And right now, the roadmap is very clear and it's completely doable. Um, but managing that on a day-to-day -day basis and making sure you don't, lo you, you know, you don't uh, lose eye uh, on, um, on the prize is, uh, is going to be ever so important as you are, you know, rent, uh, ranging up to, to success. Well, exciting times for Leo. So we look forward to it coming online. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Richard.